well there we have it, June is all over. I'm so sorry I never got around to doing as many vlogs and videos as I'd hoped to do. Again, I don't know what's happened recently, I just kind of lost the flow and I'm just kind of doing other things and I do want to keep going with this channel so at least I'm trying to keep hold of this little favourite section which is kind of turning into like a favourite slash favourite favourite why can't I say that word slash um a life update video because I keep having to like update you about my life because I'm just not making other videos at the moment but anyway here we go these are my favourites from the month of June now this is a bit weird I'm showing you my toothbrush it's a bit of a strange thing to be showing you but it's cheap it was only four pounds so it's not one of these here you go buy this electric toothbrush that's about you know 80 pounds worth obviously one of those would be great and I do want to get an electric toothbrush but for now I am using this four pound vibrating toothbrush the toothbrush and it's just battery powered you can change the batteries but you can't change this bit probably shouldn't talk while it's on but and the top of it just vibrates me and Jim had a bit of a debate because I bought me and Jim one and he said because I thought this rotated but it actually just vibrates but anyway I don't know it does it does the job it kind of makes me feel a bit more like I'm giving them a better clean somehow um, so you've still got to kind of do the brushing but that kind of just helps a little bit anyway it was from Wilkinson's for and you, I'm pretty sure you can get them from other places and it was just four pounds teeth another thing to tell you about life update is that I had a piercing I had my seconds done I don't know what you call them upper lobe piercing seconds I used to call them I don't know I've always called them seconds I don't know why but there you go because it's the second piercing in your ear um, along here and I just yeah I'm a bit of a wimp I'm a major wimp so this was a massive brave thing for me to do and I don't know what came over me but a few weeks ago I just decided that I wanted to get them done I thought it would look pretty and I thought well I can't exactly get anywhere else pierced because I'm too much of a wimp so it might be quite nice to have this done and I just thought yeah I love wearing earrings so it would be nice to wear another set of earrings as well so I think I'm still I don't know how many weeks it's been now but you've got to leave the original ones in for six weeks and yeah when I actually had them done I just plucked up the courage somehow I was feeling a bit panicky Jim came with me and I took paracetamols beforehand because I thought that might help somehow and then the actual piercing itself wasn't too bad but then the throbbing afterwards and just me getting generally panicky because it just I don't know it's just the worry and the anxiety kind of builds up in me and it's always that that's worse than the actual pain but anyway I basically felt sorry for myself for the rest of the day and wouldn't let anybody go near my ears not let people go near my ears and um took painkillers for the rest of the day really so but then the next day it was fine and sleeping was a little bit awkward because I kind of had to try because I do sleep on my side both sides so I kind of just had to move it so my ear wasn't pressing too much on my pillow so I've had to do that for like a week but anyway it's fine now some the thing I keep doing though is hitting my ears just catching them and punching them by accident don't know what's going on but when you've got like a sensitive area you don't realize how much you just catch it and uh, I'm going to the hairdressers on Tuesday so I really hope that she's careful and doesn't hurt my ears but anyway yeah I'm really glad I got it done um I went to get them done at a tattoo place tattoo and piercing place in Abergelly and yeah they're very good and I felt a little bit over dramatic by freaking out about them afterwards but never mind it's all done now um yeah so if you're thinking about getting a piercing just go for it it's good advice isn't it another jewelry related item is this necklace here I recently discovered Etsy even though I knew about it ages ago I've never actually bought anything from there and because I'm in the UK a lot of stuff on there tends to be I don't know there's probably a lot of UK items on there but there's also a lot of American things and China and 
all over the place which costs extra delivery and I didn't realise that you could specify to search for only places in the UK so Jim made, yeah, told me to download the app and specify that and now I am like obsessed with looking at things on Etsy and yeah this was like some of my first purchases I found a little shop called Serenity Jewellery I'll link it down below anyway I've been looking for jewellery like this for ages and I was searching eBay and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted and this shop just seems to have the exact kind of jewellery that I just really like the look of um, so I bought this necklace I bought another one similar to this which is like a white strap on it and I also bought a bracelet which actually turned out to be an anklet well you don't have to wear it as an anklet but I chose to put it on my ankle because you have to like tie it and I find it really awkward to tie my wrist and I was like do you know what it's summer I have my ankles out all the time I'm gonna use it as an anklet so that's what I've chosen to do um yeah and they were really cheap as well like I don't know this was like eight pound or something so I'll link it down below anyway if you like the look of it and have a little browse it's a cute little Etsy shop there's only two more things left to talk about um I think I'm going to show you these shorts the weather has been delightful this month it's absolutely ridiculous it's been the hottest time up here in North Wales in the UK you do not get summers like this I don't know what's happened but we've been ridiculously lucky and we've just had about three weeks already and I think it's going to continue of boiling hot weather like I'm talking 20 degrees to 25 degrees in some places it's gone up to like 29 degrees it's crazy it's just we're not used to it at all and I'm ginger I'm basically allergic to the sun I have used that sun cream that I showed you in my last video pretty sure I showed it in the last one I've there's like that much left of the sun cream I have never gotten through a whole bottle of sun cream one summer ever so I, this has just been in a few weeks I've literally used it all um, just because I've been going outside in it and literally have to put so much sun cream on every single day because it is so hot that's definitely one of my favorites for this month it's been ridiculously hot and it's beautiful and I've been complaining because it's been so hot but at the same time I wanted to stay and I definitely could get used to it but one thing that I've had to had to had to had to live in this month is these shorts not these exact shorts because I only bought these ones today funnily enough but these are from Mountain Warehouse and I've been wearing the green ones that I bought a couple of weeks ago constantly because it's just so hot and you need to wear shorts and these I just I'm a big fan of Mountain Warehouse and I'm a big fan of comfy things and I went to like New Look and Dorothy Perkins and everywhere looking for some shorts and I tried them on and I just I don't know my style has completely changed recently um, I've just become a massive fan of Fat Face a massive fan of Mountain Warehouse just a massive fan of anything that is comfortable and annoyingly a little bit more expensive but I just I don't know my tastes have just changed and I just can't be doing with like these really really fashionable shops the stuff just doesn't suit me anymore I've just I don't know you just change don't you as I don't know my style seems to change constantly but this is just yeah I feel like because I'm nearing 30 now this is it and yeah I'm just old and Mountain Warehouse is the place to go now so these shorts are just great especially because it's so hot and what I'm doing when it's hot is just walking just going to places to explore and beaches and just everywhere that just yeah I actually might I, no I do put a link below in the description box for my Instagram which I use way more than YouTube so if you're interested in what I'm getting up to Instagram is literally the place to check out what I'm up to because I post on there a lot I am a big Instagram fan I know it's pathetic I take pictures of my food it's just what I do I'm just going with the era okay I do I take pictures of my food I take pictures of sunsets I take pictures of forests I take pictures of myself it's just what I do I like Instagram but yeah I don't know what I'm going on about really but have a look down there what was my point oh yeah where I've been going in these Kind of shorts yeah just adventures really so I like to be comfortable and cool and these are just perfect and they wash really well and that's why I've ended up buying them in grey as well because the green ones have lasted so well and yeah so these are some grey ones I was going to get black and then Jim said get the grey ones because if you're gonna be wearing shorts you don't want to be wearing black 
it was hot enough to wear shorts why are you wearing black so i've gone for gray but the black shorts did look really nice as well i kind of do want these in every single color so yeah that's the last item and then the last thing i want to talk to you about is audible i keep saying it wrong but that's the right way to say it i think i don't think i mentioned it last time if i did i do apologize but i have been using it um this month and i have been using well, i haven't been on half as many runs as i was going on before i was going to the gym loads i was going for runs it's really not been happening this month because it's been too hot to go outside and run just far too hot honestly i went i did a couple and i was just melting and anyway i've been going on walks and things to make the most of the sunshine anyway so i'm kind of doing exercise anyway so i don't I think in winter I really needed to get to the gym because I realised I wasn't doing any exercise so that's why I joined the gym in the first place but now it's summer I'm definitely going to the gym less which is it's a shame but at the same time as I say I'm kind of keeping up the exercise anyway and I'm pretty sure I'll get back to it soon as soon as these summer weeks kind of just deteriorate because they will they will it's not going to last forever I will be back in the gym I did go there once this week so I'm continuing but just not half as much as I was. Um, I don't know what my point was really. What was I getting to? Audible. So yeah, I downloaded that. Don't know why I'm holding a pen and like pointing it around. I downloaded Audible and you get a free book when you first sign up. I think you get a free book each month actually, but you have to pay 7 99 But anyway, you get the first month for free anyway. So the only, like I'm not an avid book reader really. I wish that I was, but I'm not. And I do like books. It's just don't find the time and I know that sounds stupid because if you wanted to do something you'd find the time but I also want to play games and I don't seem to find the time but I think my priority is cleaning the house and that's just what I do but I do enjoy playing games I do enjoy reading but I just don't get the time because I prioritize other things like cleaning I don't know why it's just what I do but anyway I needed something to listen to on my runs to keep me entertained and take your mind off the running and Jim told me to download this so I did and the first book I went for was a Matt Haig book he's the only as I say because I've read lots of books I found this one book I can't remember how I found it I think it was through Twitter or something and it was called The Humans and so I bought it and I read it and it was amazing I loved it apparently they're making a film of it I think but I need to have a look at that again because I'm pretty sure there was a thing about it becoming a film one day um, yeah, and I just loved the way he wrote, I loved his humour. He recently released another, he's done a couple of kind of like personal books as well about depression and anxiety and things. He did one called How to Stop Time and then I think he's got another one coming out as well soon. And I like those books of his as well, but really enjoyed The Humans. So I looked at other books on Audible to download that I might enjoy by him and I chose Echo Boy. I don't know how far through I am with it, I'm just, that's the only thing isn't it, I don't know, it probably says on the app but I've not really had a look properly, I just kind of press play and go, and, and go but it probably does tell you whereabouts it's up to. The only thing, like the book's really enjoyable, the only thing that's annoying me is the woman's voice, I don't know what it is but I don't like her tone, it's just, I wish it was being read by someone else, there's just something about the way she's reading it that's a bit annoying but never mind I'm going to see it through anyway and hopefully the next book I download won't have an annoying person reading it but there we go that's pretty much everything really my little update and favourite video maybe I'll just have to do a lot more sit down videos where it's not just you know my favourite videos I just genuinely sit down and chat to you because they're a bit easy to edit as well because vlogs I tend to just film way too much and then have to struggle trying to get down <laughs> get down to something that's actually enough for somebody to watch that isn't just too much um yeah so i do have some footage that i have filmed of days out and things that i will get around to editing and putting up on my channel soon and i'm sure i'll get back into this eventually i'm just trying to keep it going so that i don't like lose everybody's interest completely but just i do apologize that not getting as much content as you were getting before but please stay subscribed and if you are new to this channel please start subscribing and just keep watching because I will make more videos soon um, but thank you very much and I hope you had a nice June as well tell me what your favourite things in June were and happy July I will see you at the end of this month and hopefully in between bye <laughs>